Hello and welcome. My name is Josh Clark and today we're going to talk about how to effectively do a three-way phone call. Now let me tell you, this is probably one of the most overlooked, underused, yet extremely effective tools in this business. So you may be asking, well Josh, who's a good candidate for a three-way? Well, in fact, almost everyone um, is most commonly used for prospects, but it's also great for customers that maybe you want to introduce them to someone else's story so they can see how adding other products can help fill needs in their life. Or, and, and it's often used in the context of a customer, is to introduce them to either your upline or someone else's story that they can relate with so they can see why they may want to upgrade, become a promoter, and join you in this exciting career opportunity. So, all right, now let's, let me say this. If you're not having the success that you want you know, with your prospects and bringing them on board as customers and as promoters, then let me tell you, you absolutely need to um, schedule more three-way calls or do more three-way calls. Okay, quick recap. Three reasons why you absolutely must be doing three-way calls. Number one, it builds credibility. You know, by introducing them to that third party. It also is important because oftentimes when you're getting started, you know, they know that you don't have, you don't know that much. And so especially in that stage, a three-way call is so critical and so helpful. Okay, and then number two is, it, it lets them know that you have support. It shows them that they're, if they get in this business, they won't be in it alone, that there's a, a team around them, a family around them that supports one another. And then number three is, and this is probably the most crucial, is it lets them know that they don't have to be an expert. One of the fears in this business is people think, well, you know what, I don't know it all. What if people ask questions that I don't know? That's easy. It's got, you know, pick up the phone, can you hold a second? And then call into a three-way. Okay, so seven steps for effectively doing um, three-way calls. You ready? Step one is don't ask. Now you might be saying, what Josh? That's right, when, especially when you're talking to a prospect, don't ask them if you can do a three-way call. Take charge, be a leader, and just say, hey, can you hold on a second? Now if they are a customer, they're already on board, then it makes sense to schedule that three-way call and say, hey, you know what? If I could schedule a call with so-and-so, you know, I'd you know, would you, when would be a good time for you? I'd love for you to hear their story. But if it's a prospect, just say, can you hold on a second? Then step two is add the expert. You're gonna simply, on most, call, most phones, you're gonna hit add a call, or on a landline, it may be flash, and then when the upline or the expert picks up, you're gonna say, hey, you know what, can you, do you have just a second? I have someone on the other line that I'd love for them to hear your story. And then you're going to um, merge the call, and then as soon as they come on, you're going to confirm that both both parties are there, and then now is step three. Step three is critical. Edify your upline. Edify the expert. It, because you want the prospect to understand and value this person who's about to share their story. And uh, step four is, and this is equally critical, edify the prospect. You know, for two reasons. One, of course, you know, who doesn't enjoy sincere appreciation and edification? But number two is, and this is critical, the upline or the expert is listening to discover how they can connect with that prospect. So very, very important. Okay, and then step five is, as soon as you've introduced, introduced both parties and edified them, you're, step five is you're gonna say to, your, to the upline or expert, thank you so much for your time. Listen, I know you're busy. If you could just take just a couple minutes and share your story. And then step six is zip it. Crucial. Silence. Your job now is to listen and learn. And above all, resist the urge to interrupt or correct the upline. After all, you've positioned them as the expert and to interrupt or add things is just undermining them. And then as soon as the upline finishes, this is absolutely critical. As soon as they get out the other line, step seven is close it. Ask for the sale. Oftentimes, you simply have not because you ask not. And you know, the prospect is generally not gonna say, hey, can you please get me started? No, you gotta ask for it. And then if they say no, then simply ask them on a scale of one to 10, one being no way, 10 ready to get started, where are you? And then if it's anywhere between one and 10, schedule the next exposure, whether it's an educational tool, resource, meeting, video, whatever it may be. And then continue following up till either they, they let you know they're not interested or they come on board. And there, and, and there's a, you may wanna to listen to the training that we have on how to follow up. It has some great tips um, during that phase. Okay, now, 
Get out there, take action, schedule those three ways, and I can't wait to hear your success and celebrate it. God bless.